The Washington Post has new reporting on a draft memo out of the IRS's chief counsel's office, which directly contradicts the legal theory underpinning Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin's refusal to hand over those returns. And just a reminder, this is the reason Secretary Mnuchin gave on May 6 for why he could not turn over those returns or wouldn't. And I'm quoting, the committee's request lacks a legitimate legislative purpose. The department is therefore not authorized to disclose the requested returns and return information. The, the key thing to understand here is that Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, as you said, says that he cannot give over these documents, Trump's tax returns, because the committee lacks a legitimate legislative basis, basically a reason uh, related to legislation or oversight uh, to, to see the documents. This memo, which was written in the fall and doesn't explicitly mention Trump, uh, this memo makes clear that that is not a legitimate grounds for denial in the view of whoever wrote it, in the view of this IRS um, attorney. And, of course, Mnuchin is free to override or disagree with um, you know, his subordinates or people who work at the IRS. But it does, for the first time, speak to an extraordinary fissure or disagreement uh, in the executive branch over really a, a critical issue. Right. I mean, the law, as is written, is pretty clear. It essentially says, you know, the IRS shall turn over to... Uh, you know, to the limited number of people who are authorized to receive. It doesn't give any qualifications of, well, they won't turn it over if they don't think there's a really good purpose for it. So just to be clear, this was a draft memo. It was never actually signed, right? That's correct. In the form we got it in, it was hard to verify because it was just it said draft all over it. If there's no date, there's no signature, there's no even, you know, we don't even know who it was addressed to. Um, and when we asked IRS for comment, IRS said that it never forwarded the memo to Treasury. Um, so, you know, Mnuchin has said, and uh, Treasury said in the statement to us that Mnuchin never reviewed the memo. So there's a chance, I guess, that, um, you know, they were unaware of it and that, um, you know, they, that, that's part of the reason that Mnuchin um, denied the request. Um, that said, a lot of legal experts have been pointing out for months, the law seems really clear here, um, and it's inconceivable that Mnuchin wouldn't have at least read some of the disagreements. Right. And I mean, the irony, of course, is that, I mean, this, uh, well, actually, first of all, if there's no one's signature and date, how do you know it is from the IRS's uh, attorney or legal office? Well, we were able to confirm uh, the validity of the document with people close to it. Um, and then separately, when we went to the IRS yesterday, they, they confirmed in a statement um, that this memo did exist and that it did originate in the office of the chief counsel.